blessed and happy Tuesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is uh, Tuesday within the octave of Easter, April 2nd, 2024. Our gospel for today speaks about the experience of Mary weeping, crying outside the tomb of Jesus. She was very sad because the experience of death is never easy to deal with, right? What is interesting is this. She was not able to recognize the risen Lord because she, Mary Magdalene, tend to dwell so much on her sorrow. Her pains, her tears, her mourning makes her mistakenly identify Jesus as a gardener. My dear friends, today's gospel is reminding us that when we focus so much on our pains, when we focus so much on our sorrows, it will blind us to recognize the presence of God in our lives. Our pains, our sorrows, our problems will blind, will block, will impede the presence of God in our lives. The simple logic is this. We cannot see the light if we love to hide in darkness, right? We cannot taste what victory is if we love to talk about defeats. We will not succeed if we nail our thoughts on our failures. Healing is impossible if we keep touching our wounds. Forgiveness is unattainable if we keep remembering our painful memories. You know what? We cannot feel the joy of Easter if we are still stuck to the sorrows of Lent. Let's have an Easter look. Celebrate Easter. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Blessings can be elusive if we always complain and not grateful to what we have. Enjoy your blessings and don't look to what is missing. My dear friends, my dear followers, brethren, our sorrows, our frustrations, our pains, our stress can paralyze us if we allow them to dominate in us. Negative mind will never, uh, will never give us a positive life. Remember that. Today, train your mind to see the good in everything. Why? Because our responsorial psalm is telling us that the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Positivity is a choice. We cannot live a positive life in a, with a negative mind. The happiness and the success of our life depends on the quality of our thoughts. Life is beautiful. Life is good. Life is amazing. Life is wonderful because God is good. And the people who succeed in life are not those who avoid failures, but they are those who learn how to respond to failures with a positive, positive outlook. If we are always dwell on our sorrows, the risen Lord will remain a gardener. Today, if you have pains, if you have problems, if you are undergoing suffering, sickness, talk to the Lord, not to the gardener. Like Mary Magdalene, let us tell others that we have seen the Lord. And what's the concrete sign? What's the concrete proof that we have seen the Lord in our life? Our first reading says, repentance change of our life, conversion of our life. If we repent, we can save ourselves from this corrupt generation. If we repent, the world will be filled with goodness. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your family, make the word of God viral so that many will be blessed. Amen.